Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Kundalini Yoga. We are continuing on our journey through the 21 stages of meditation. And we're moving on to stage five today, which is called focus. So we're still on the path of the first journey, and we're, we are again taking our meditations from the 21 stages of meditation was written by Guru Charan Singh Khalsa. And so we've worked our way through the first four stages of the first journey, the crystallized self. And just a reminder about the crystallized self. It says, the focus of the first journey is to recognize, experience, and crystallize the self. The blocks are encountered in the first four stages, upset, boredom, irritation, and frustration. The primary skill at this stage is to become a witness to all the thoughts and feelings. Many, but not all, are from our own subconscious. We begin to separate ourselves from our feelings. We quit identifying with them. Instead, we let them flow through us without resistance. We simply release them instead of reacting or attaching. We have a sense of ourself separate from all the commotions, emotions, and sensory impulses. We begin to focus and recognize this fill point, a nucleus within, which is the self. And so continuing on to stage five, which is focus today, it says, without all the distractions, what you focus on gains a finer grain. <clears throat> you start to get into the mantra, your attention stays on its energy and character. You start to feel its projection. You can sense its virtues and qualities in you. Your feelings have more detail. The implications of each action and thought seem transparent and stretch ahead of you like trails into the horizon. Your inner flow begins. You focus at the sixth chakra by looking at the tip of the nose where the two channels of breath come together. Your japa and breath synchronize. The navel energy flows upward and awakens the fourth chakra, the fifth, and finally up to the sixth. Body and mind come together. We are now ready to realize the presence of the higher self within us. The first four stages have cleared the way and quelled our inner conflicts. These next three stages, focus, absorption, and experience, and crystallize the self build our primary contemplative virtues, and make way for the crystallized self. The first of these three stages is focus. This stage represents a profound deepening and shift in our meditation. In this stage, the control of the breath and use of sound creates a flow of energy from the navel center to the heart chakra, then upward through the throat chakra, and finally to the brow point. The brow point is the command center the base of the sixth chakra. From there, we observe, project, and command all the other chakras. Focus is a potent partner of the sixth chakra. Focus is when the mind dwells voluntarily on a realm of the senses, the domain of an object, or on the sensation of the self. Focus is gained by gathering our attention, energy, and love around something and letting go of everything else. It is not attachment, it is not habit, it is right effort. When we chant a mantra mentally or out loud and synchronize it with our breath, we become neutral. With focus and intuition on our side, we remain true to ourself. Your inner happiness lies in your mental training. Focus requires training. The mind will always need training. As we relate to a focus, our alert mind gives us signals to notice what we would normally have missed, to open to the unfamiliar, to see anew that which is habitual, and to check the unintended consequences of actions that we start. We can discern and select the thought or thoughts we want. Ultimately, we open to the interconnected, interconnectedness, the oneness of all things. And the meditation today is called Pran Nadi Shabad Guni Kriya. Wanted to make sure I didn't get that, get that wrong. So let's just come to 
sit in easy pose, bring yourself to your mat and we'll journey into stage five, focus. You're coming to your mat and allowing your sit bones to ground down onto the mat or cushion. Hands are resting in Gya Mudra. Spine is straight, shoulders relaxed. Neck lock engaged by gently tucking the chin to elongate the neck. And eyes are closed, focused at the third eye point between the brows. And allowing yourself to be fully here. Allowing yourself this time and allowing yourself to let go of anything from the day, the weekend, or the week. Gently letting those thoughts go for now. And bring yourself to be here, to be fully present, being aware of your breath as you breathe in and out through the nose. Feeling the air flowing in through the nose, traveling all the way down. Filling the lungs with air. And as you exhale, feel the air flowing all the way up and out again through the nose. Bringing the hands together at heart center. Starting to rub the palms together. Get some heat and energy. And then slowly bring the palms apart about four to six inches. Feel sensations between the palms. Slowly moving the palms in and out. into prayer pose at heart center. Thumbs push gently into the sternum. We'll tune in with the Adi Mantra. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. I bow to the infinite creative wisdom, to the divine teacher within, connecting us for our practice and connecting us to the wisdom of teachers present and past. Take a deep inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale to tune in. Om Namo Gurudev Namo Om for stage five focus and journey to the crystallized self. Pran Nadi Shabad Guni Kriya. And so for this meditation, it's a lot about the breath work and there is some mantra in the meditation. So one of the mantras is Satnam, which you're very familiar with. So Satnam meaning true identity. And the other mantra is Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. And this means I am in ecstasy when I experience the indescribable wisdom. And for the meditation, so for today's meditation, we'll be doing it for 11 minutes. It does suggest that you do it for 31 minutes, so you can always extend your practice. But for now, I'll be doing it for 11 minutes. We'll be in easy pose. 
and the right palm, right hand is going to rest on top of the left hand, the palm is facing up, and then the thumb tips will touch, and the thumbs will be pointed forward as well. You're going to have your shoulders relaxed, elbows relaxed, and the hands will be at about the level of the solar plexus. And just resting there. Eye focus, eyes will be nine tenths closed, so almost fully closed. And we're going to actually be focusing on the tip of the nose. And it says, <clears throat> fixing the physical gaze on the tip of the nose creates an automatic pressure and a convergence of prana flows at the sixth chakra. So that's, so that's the third eye. So here, the mudra of the hands, right over left, thumbs touching, then projecting forward, pointing forward at the level of the solar plexus, keeping the elbows and shoulders relaxed. And we will be inhaling through six segmented breaths. So inhaling and fully expanding the lungs. And with each inhale, so it's going to be segmented, And then on the exhale, we'll be in two breaths, Wahe Guru, we're whispering Wahe Guru. As you inhale in the six segments, you're going to be mentally chanting Satnam with each inhale in the six segments. Just mentally chanting Satnam. And then on the exhale, Wahe Guru, whispering Wahe Guru in the two breaths. Okay, so that is the meditation and we'll be doing it for 11 minutes and just really try to stay focused inward, you know, with another thoughts enter your mind that is okay, it happens to all of us and just bring yourself, just slowly let the, that thought drift away and gently bring yourself back to the meditation, back to the mantra and back to your breath. And just do your best with it. Okay. Let's come to rest in the mudra. Eyes are nine tenths open, looking down at the tip of the nose. Neck lock engaged, gently tugging the chin to elongate the neck. And take a deep inhale and exhale. And begin the six segmented breath. The inhale.
Take a deep inhale, suspend the breath in. Exhale, power it through the mouth. Take another deep inhale, suspend the breath. Exhale through the mouth powerfully. Once more, take a deep inhale. Suspend the breath. Exhale through the mouth. And come to rest. Yam Mudra. Eyes closed now, focused at the third eye. Taking a moment to absorb effects from the meditation, connecting to your experience. Take a deep inhale, bring the hands up overhead. Suspend the breath in, apply root lock, push the energy all the way up and at the fingertips into the aura and exhale, release the lock. Once more, inhale, suspend the breath in, apply root lock, push the energy up, up, up. Exhale, one more time, take a deep inhale. Suspend the breath in, apply root lock and push the energy all the way up. Exhale, release the lock. And shake the arms around you, shaking all the energy. You can do a little dance. And coming back to rest here in Dhyan Mudra. I'll send you off with the meditation on focus. That was stage five. Um, there may have been times when I did eight segments, I'm not sure. Once you sometimes get into the meditation, sometimes you might lose track of what you're doing and that's okay. So I may have uh, thrown you off a little, I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess I'll see when I look back at it. Anyway, I hope you're feeling a sense of inner peace and just bring the hands together, resting in prayer pose and starting to rub palms together. back to prayer pose at heart center and we'll close the meditation today with a long time sun first time sing it for yourself and the second time sing it for others and sing for the whole universe take a deep inhale exhale completely inhale for a long time sun May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all stage six. I look forward to sharing this practice with you and continuing to work on a meditation practice together. May you have a beautiful day ahead, a wonderful week ahead, whatever day of the week it is right now for you. 
And I will see you again soon. Satnam. Satnam, everyone. And much love. We will see you soon.